Well, hey, we're fishing. Yeah, I like fishing. You know, I watch Bill Dance on TV and keep people on the buzz bait. I want to throw a buzz bait. I want to be like Bill Dance. Hey, what's up, folks? Today we are fishing with my new friend Adam Mahora. something new every day. So Adam Mihara. Is that right, Adam? All right. All right, so me and Adam actually met via my Twitter and got in a, a debate about tournament fishing and public access. But that's neither here nor there. And this is what the world could use more of. Now we're going fishing. All right, uh, so stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get on some small mouth here in the Delaware River or you know anything we can get to buy thanks for watching let's go fishing that's a good thing that we're I got snagged means that I'm fishing the right spot yeah well it means you're tying knots while you're at the right spot Yeah, man. I wish we were getting better content. So I could lay up on a beach in Cozumel and call it work like our buddy Stanley. All he does is jump in the water. <laughs> Lately, he's not even going in the water. Did you see his live video yesterday? Yeah. Scared of a little rain. Fish are already wet, Stan. <laughs> Fishing with my dad after the game. Do you want to go with me? I said, yeah, I like fishing. You know, my dad would take me every once in a while. We'd dunk hot dogs or worms or whatever. Um, but I would put the hot dog under a bobber and just catch bluegill. He was uh, bass fishing with his dad. But they used live bait. And they had, you know, techniques that I'd never seen before. Like he would uh, Carolina rig a night crawler, but he set it up so that way he had like a bow in his line, and if the line shot out, you knew you had a fish. And I never really thought about fishing that deeply until we fished together. And he caught four pounder that day. I'm like, oh, okay, this is pretty cool. So I started fishing with night crawlers on a Carolina rig. And then uh, I would go to Walmart and there would be all these, you know, fishing lures in there. I'm like, oh, these are pretty cool. Um, I'd watch Bill Dance on TV and he'd be throwing a buzz bait. Now, I want to throw a buzz bait. I want to be like Bill Dance. So I'd go out and I'd throw that buzz bait until the cows came home. Never caught a dang thing on it because I had an ugly frog on the back of it. <laughs> but then I got into like MEPS, uh, Rapala minnows, you know, the, the stuff you could buy at Walmart. I started fishing with that and having a little bit of success. Um, I picked up fly fishing too. And my dad and I would go fly fishing all over the place. Um, in junior year, or I'm sorry, in freshman year of high school, my dad's business uh, had layoffs and he either had to relocate or find a new job. So he decided that we should relocate and we moved to Maryland. I got you. So Maryland had a lot better fishing than Jersey, especially for like trout. Mm -hmm. uh, so for those two years, I learned a lot about fly fishing, but our family in general wasn't happy down there. So we decided to move back to New Jersey. Um, and we were a lot happier. 
but my dad had to commute to New York City every day, which you'd think, oh, that's a haul from the Philadelphia area. And he would sleep on the bus on the way up, sleep on the bus on the way down. So he got two naps a day. Sometimes, uh, he was a Yankees fan, so sometimes he'd just stay in the city, watch a, a ball game, and then come home later. never meet somebody more patriotic than my dad, a Japanese person who was put into an internment camp at the age of six because he was Japanese. Hmm. Uh, his family lived in Los Angeles mm -hmm. at a grocery store and when Wo World War II broke out in Pearl Harbor, all the Japanese people had to be jailed and then relocated to somewhere central in the United States. Mm -hmm. So at the age of six, my father was jailed for no crime committed other than being Japanese uh, in Arkansas, along with my grandfather and my grandmother. And when the war ended and they released the Japanese citizens, uh, they tried to make it back to the West Coast where they had, you know, grocery stores, businesses, families. Um, but they ran out of money, most of them. They couldn't make the trip. So my dad actually ended up settling in Nebraska with his, you know, the rest of our family. Uh, ended up going to college at University of Nebraska on a swimming scholarship. He was standing next to the pool one day and the swim coach said hey can you swim and my dad's like yeah you know I'm a lifeguard at the, the local uh, you know swim club and he said do a lap for me and my dad did a lap faster than anybody else on the swim team at that point <laughs> and the swim coach said I need you to come to college because at that point my dad didn't have any money he was just you know, at a high school Japanese person with, you know, racism all around him in Nebraska after World War II. So he got himself a college education. Uh, he got his degree in engineering, applied to Mensa, was uh, accepted. He got various jobs with different companies like uh, General Electric, um, Bell Telephone, um, IBM. And he worked for IBM for 45 years. And during that time, he met my mom. They met in Philadelphia while they were both working there. My mom grew up in Philadelphia. My dad, you know, had to relocated there for I think it was General Electric at the time when he was working there. <laughs> so they met and then they uh, promptly moved to Colorado. Headed toward the Pennsylvania side. Watch out, I have authority over here. <laughs> that pontoon boat's actually beached. That's how low this water is. Oh, what a rough, rough bite. Uh, fisherman era. Me and, me and Adam both screwed up. It should have been a, a, a caught fish, but that's how it goes. That's why they call it fishing and not catching. Hey, be sure to check out my buddy Adam Mahara. I'll leave a link to all his social media that he wants to promote in the description box below. Thanks yeah, for having me, Adam. Yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah. I wish we caught more fish, but yeah, don't we all? What are we gonna do? I wish the motor ran too. Yeah. Next time we go out, I'll have it fixed. Go home and bust out another thousand. Yeah. Alright. Hey, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up. It really helps us grow. 
and we'll see you next time.